Hello and welcome back to Caesar 3 and we're now on part 3 of Valencia and in the first part we set up the city and started feeding our people in the second part we went into turbo mode and went from 2,000 to 8,000 people and now in part 3 we're gonna be working towards luxury palaces and winning the video game. Alright so let's go ahead and get things started. Alright welcome back to Caesar 3 we're now Got a lot to do. In the last part, we did sort of rush a bit. So in this part, I want to sort of chill. I want to tone it back a bit, earn some money, get those luxury palaces going. Now, we were going to put our luxury palaces over here, but that was a bad idea because it's so far away from the food. So we're going to set up the luxury palaces somewhere closer to the food source. And we do have a slight unemployment problem, so I got to deal with that. I think I'm going to be evolving these houses, and it's probably going to put more strain on the food supply system here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this road out this way. And yeah, we're just going to get a bunch more farms and stuff. We're going to need some houses here. And go wheat, 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 and vegetables. Probably a few more vegetables than wheat. Just like that. And a backup, prefecture, and engineer's post. Okay, so now we gotta set up a food supply for the luxury palaces. So I think I could take advantage of this path here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a gatehouse right here. And we're gonna have... How big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six... We can clear that, we can clear this. Just have this road extend out like that. We don't need that many farms actually. And we're gonna put some houses there. Prefecture, engineer's post. Okay, okay. And we're gonna get our farm set up. We're gonna need wheat, actually, how do I want to do this? Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Wheat, 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 wheat. Vegetables. Wheat does grow faster on this map than vegetables, so we'll have extra vegetables like that. And that's gonna be a food supply which can extend down this way. I will put the gatehouse there. Get rid of that. Um, then we can have this road extend out like this, where we're gonna have two granaries. Like that. Have two houses. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> that, that just looks weird, doesn't it? Ten wine, ten wine. That's easy enough. That's easy enough. Okay. Distribute that. You know, I guess I'll shift this over one, just to make it look a bit more proper. Granary right there. So the further one from the farm can be wheat because it's easier to produce. The closer one is vegetables, like that. Okay, uh, we can have houses like that and prefecture engineer's post like that. Okay. And this road will extend further down this way, down to the low ground, where we're gonna have the luxury palace block right here. So I'm gonna bust this open. And have it do something like this. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Gap at two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Gap of two. One, two, three, four. This will be our luxury palace block. And we can go house, 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 house. Uh, actually, it'd probably be better if it was slightly inwards like that, a bit away from the road. Easier to manage with, uh, easier to manage with uh, fountains. That's what I wanted to say, okay. So we're gonna get that started. 
This should look after this okay. Yeah, that should be fine. So food is coming in. Once these houses move in, oh, that actually, that should be dealing with our unemployment okay, right? Even with all these farms working, <laughs> unemployment, geez. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to move this over a bit though. Because I'm gonna have a warehouse here set to getting oil. So we're gonna evolve these houses in this block here. And move those over, raw material, timber yard, workshop, furniture. Okay. So I guess we just start overproducing everything, right? Uh, one, two, three, four. Prefecture. Engineer's post. Make sure nothing burns down. Do we have any more marble? We have a bit. Okay, we'll need some oracles around here soon, but that looks okay. Uh, then I guess we just start getting things going. We can do our own fishing and everything on this side. So I'm gonna clear all of this off. And... Yeah, something along the lines like this. And we're gonna have this do that. It's a grid block, so it's not entirely efficient, okay? It's not entirely efficient. We're gonna have this as well. One, two, three, four. There. Grid block. Not the most efficient, but it's gonna work. It's gonna work, okay? <laughs> it will work, hopefully. I hope it'll work. Um, but yeah, we're gonna need... I guess I could do that as well, to stabilize employment and also have room for things, yeah? We're gonna have wharfs. Three of those. We're gonna have... How do I want to do this? Clay pit. Timber yard. Pottery. Okay. Pottery. And furniture. And we can have the warehouses just stuck over there. like that and we can have accepting pottery accepting furniture oh, this is always so tedious <laughs> uh, getting oil we're gonna evolve these houses immediately and this is gonna be getting wine Oh, that might be... Actually, we don't need a warehouse getting one. That will actually mess up trade, and the market ladies can walk a little bit to, to there. That's fine, that's fine. So now, let's get all the other things down. You know what? Let's, let's deal with our unemployment issue of 11% by putting down a hippodrome, yeah? Let's just get that down immediately. So this has to be on this side, right? The road has to connect. Oh, wait. Maybe we don't get the Hippodrome yet. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not, yeah? Mm. Let's get extra firehouse engineer's post. Make sure nothing burns down. Yeah, that should be safe enough, right? You know what? Just in case, another one. Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't realize this road was connected. Let's get rid of that. Okay, there we go. There we go. Do I see a need for a warehouse getting oil? Yeah, it's just... Oh wait, then again, we are selling oil, aren't we? Um, that's a good point. Maybe we just hook it up, yeah? Workshop oil. Swap this to a gatehouse.
Yeah, that's probably better, right? Okay. So we expanded a little too quickly, I think. So we gotta wait for money to come back in. More traders are coming in. That'll solve our problems. Meanwhile, look at this, some oil has arrived. These are now going up to large insulates, grand insulates actually, because they do have two types of food here. We are supplying two types of food to all of these houses and they're already fed with two types. A little low on, uh, a little low here and there. I think we need to have like an extra market down here. Can I make this work at all? I think I'll replace that with a market. Ignore him. <laughs> because some of the stability seems a little off here. So yeah, another market should do. There we go. Now let's get some water over this side. Yeah, we're gonna need a reservoir. Let's make some room there. What's the reach on that? One, two, three, four. We can do that. That should reach those two. One, two, three, four. That should hit all of the houses. There we go. So we can have six luxury palaces going. Uh, Carthago Nova willing to trade more. Is that buying or selling? Not that we're doing either. Oh, selling. Okay. So it doesn't affect us too much. Uh, no employees live nearby. I see. We do actually need a couple houses up this way. Like that. Okay. Anything gonna be burning down? Falling apart? Nope. Okay. So we're good. So we're good. Uh, I guess we just put down the markets now. Let's go... Let's just go two markets for now. We'll see how that works out. Meanwhile, if we still have unemployment, we can continue. Are these all evolving, actually? Some desirability issues. We haven't plazaed up this area, by the way. Oh, would you look at that? We ran out of wheat. Uh, perhaps we can change that to a wheat farm? We gotta find an equilibrium between these two types of food. Why is this all devolving? Falling desirability? No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. The extra market might have messed things up a bit. Do we need even more farms? We might need even more farms. <laughs> uh, surprisingly, evolving these houses... Um, ...takes up a lot of food. Alright, well, we can bust this open. One, two, three. And have... ...that road just do that. Farm wheat. Farm vegetables. Okay, Prefecture, Engineer's Post. That should be able to provide access to workers, right? Or maybe it doesn't. Okay, we're gonna need a house here. Okay, that should help solve the food problem. It looks like wheat's going back up. Vegetables maybe will take a bit more, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Money has started coming in. All right. Are these markets taking what they need to be taking? I'm not too sure. Pottery and furniture is coming in. Oil and wine is available there. Okay. We will be invaded soon. That's fine. With these plazas, I think I w need to start plazaing up some of these roads here. Let's plaza up the middle roads. Oh, that actually does help a lot. We have money. Let's plaza up the whole thing. The whole damn block. There we go. That's what we're spending our money on. Plaza it up. Looks good. Look at all those grand insulates. 
Not that we need the prosperity rating if we're going for luxury palaces, but it's fine. It's just nice having. I'm, I'm okay with it being a little bit of a mess here. How it's all sort of different. Some are small insulates, some are large insulates, some are grand insulates. These are not getting enough entertainment, I see. I think we need a market on this middle road, right? It seems to be struggling. So I'm gonna delete one house here. That one, I think. I'm gonna put a market there. There. That'll solve that. Okay. So now these houses have evolved. They need access to local religious facilities. So let's give them... Do I go small temples on this? Yeah. Series. Uh... That, if they go down this way, I see. Uh, should be okay. I kind of want to use large temples in this area, but I don't... We gotta import marble. You know what, let's just import some marble. We'll get, we'll get large temples, just to make things looking good, okay? <laughs> Is food supply keeping up? I think it... It's doing okay. Oh, that market is actually touching the back road there. I suppose it's okay. Okay, it's fine. How's the rest of my city looking? Uh, the rest of the city is doing okay. There's a little shortage of food on this side, so I think we gotta cut back on some of these houses. You know what, let's just get rid of two houses there, and we'll see how the food supply manages. And also, this is gonna change to a wharf, I forgot. We don't need the shipyard here, we can put the shipyard on this far side here. Like that. And also, I just realized we don't have a granary. Uh, granary. For the fish, on this side. <laughs> Forgot about that, uh, but it's okay. Okay, there we go. Storing up the third type of food there. The markets currently have the two types of food. What do these guys need again? Desirability, okay. We're going one, two, three, four. It goes up until there. Okay, so we'll have medium statues like this. Uh, don't worry about that. We, we get the money back. <laughs> so we do have three types of food now. So these houses will get their three types of food when they need it. Okay, so it's just a just a matter of time. We got we just got to earn some money. How is our employment? Did we actually manage to get it down? It's down to 5%, which is pretty good. Do we need more vegetable farms? We might need another vegetable farm. Now. Farm, vegetable. Just trying to balance that. These houses losing furniture? And this row here is not getting Colosseum access. Yeah, I see. Oh, series boosted my crops. <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's just speed things on along a little bit so we can earn our money. And watch the food supplies of places. I think food supply is okay. Is food over here going back up? It's struggling, actually. How are these markets? 600? Some entertainment, but not enough. Amphitheater access is surprisingly difficult.
15 wine, okay. Try to sell wine. Wine sales are only from the water. I think this is slowly going up actually. Okay, so that's good. We we've solved that problem. Selling wine is a pain because it's gonna have to go down to the dock. So we'll have to build a second dock here, I guess. I'm not sure it might work. But okay, there we go. We've got some money. Uh, have we imported marble? We haven't imported marble. Okay, we'll get that soon. Money is starting to come in. I probably built way too many farms here, right? Let's get rid of those. Uh, freeing up some services which we can put down here. So let's go ahead and go um, school. School. Uh, library. Bath house, which can go. Yeah, let's just put it there. Uh, we're gonna need theater, amphitheater. Uh, what else do we need? Doctors? Okay. Uh, yeah, doctor and barber. And then we need an academy. And then we need the Colosseum, which we can put right here. Okay. Oh, we're under attack. We're under attack. Ah. Pari says, thanks for classic streams made me buy Pharaoh to relive my youth. <laughs> Glad I could do that for you. Let's put that Colosseum down. Now, let's deal with these guys. Let's just grab some of these. We can just throw them into the enemy. That lone sheep is still alive. Look at that. Right there. Sheep. Four. Oh, we'll just bring the fifth one. Might as well. And also, let's max out our military. Right, like that. Just everyone move through. Max out our military. Let's kill these guys. Okay, good. Uh, did we even lose anyone on that? We lost one guy. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we lost one guy. Okay, so these houses are starting to evolve now. They need more desirability, so let's just plaza this up. I guess we plaza up to there. We gotta plaza... No, we gotta plaza the whole thing. Just plaza everything. There we go. And did we get marble in? Why did it go here? Ah, right. That is a problem. I forgot to turn these off. There we go. Marble's supposed to be stored into there. <laughs> okay, well, we got some marble in. Which means I'm going to put down Oracle, 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 Oracle. There we go. A lower price. Rome reduced the price of oils. Okay, that sucks a little bit, but that's fine. We've got these Oracles down for all the desirability we need. Uh, I don't know if we could fit large temples, actually but it's okay. Let's put down Actor Colony. Uh, Actor Colony. Gladiator School. Uh, Lion House. And we are going to need a Chariot Maker as well. Which we can put right there. Okay. Fantastic. How's our employment? Still short by 5%, so it should be okay. Food supply, all of our resource supply looks okay. Why is there so much in here? Why is there food in here? Why does Caesar 3 always do this to me? There's food in my warehouse. Why? Why? Why is this? Ah. Well, that happened. Okay. We'll have to check our... Um, 
coverage of all of this. With the en entertainment walkers coming down this way, it'll help with the coverage, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, no health provisions. Oh, we need another doctor, do we? Put down a second doctor there. Health clinics. Yeah, it's struggling a little bit. Actually, let's uh, maybe put the hospital over here. Yeah. What else do we need? And then it's just the Hippodrome, right? Where do I want the Hippodrome? I mean, I could put it here. Perhaps a bit closer. I move this school... ...to here. And have the Hippodrome... Here. Right across from the Colosseum. It would look best if I aligned it like that. And actually, I think for efficiency, I will put a gatehouse here. Okay. That should make things run a little bit better. Hippodrome can go right there, right? Hippodrome. Yes, there'll be a one gap there. So I can move... Put a second barber, I think. Just stick one back there to make sure things are okay. Health. Uh, bats. Oh, bats are not reaching around that side. Okay. Which means we do need to extend our water supply. There. Okay. So we're already at Grand Insulates. What do these uh, need? Access to more gods? Ah, yes. So I guess we just spam all the other temples. There's not really space for large temples. I mean, I could put a few down. Large temple to Venus here? Yeah. Large temple to Mars? Here? Or here? It looked good there. Uh, let's move that barber. Uh, large temple, Mars. So Mars and Venus. I, I very rarely use large temples, so I really want to use them. Mercury. Can go right here, I guess. Large temple to Neptune. Can go right here. And we remove the small Ceres temple and a large temple to Ceres. Oh, some of these houses are devolving weirdly. Uh... Yes, there. That's fine. All right, let's clean up this mess. All of you. What happened here? Some entertainment, but not enough. Entertainment. Coliseum. Entertainment. Theater. Oh. <laughs> entertainment. Amphitheater. Okay. Theater and amphitheater are actually struggling on this side, so... Uh, theater. And amphitheater. I'm just spending all of my money. I'm just spending all of it. There we go. That should balance out the entertainment. The chariot maker will walk. Well, will run down this way. I might need to have a second chariot maker, right? And I forgot taxing. Let's tax these people. Forum, forum. There we go. Make sure they're taxed. Employees needed. Wow, for the first time in ages, employees needed. How is our food supply everywhere? Food supply... Oh, we've actually overproduced. Would you look at that? Let's reduce it a little bit there. Food supply here is okay. Food supply here is maintaining. Okay. All right, our city's looking pretty good. These are now... Need second type of wine, I see. But let's get... Desirability is an issue... Oracle, I guess. Then. 
and a large statue won't look good. Medium statues. And also, I probably can stop importing marble. I know it looks like we're massively in debt, but just wait till next year. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> mm. I'm making everyone go around the entire map, so I am. I thought there's a gap. Oh, there's no way to enter from here, I see. Uh, move, move the doctor. Uh, doctor. Okay, let's fix that. That's a scripted event. Nothing wrong on my part there. Uh, doctor. We keep ge going in and out. Okay, uh, let's move the doctor there. Okay. Good, good. I am actually making people walk all the way around the map. <laughs> um, well, all right. Uh, good thing there is a little gap here. Okay. Let's just make sure no one's blocked in. Okay. All right, all right. My bad, my bad. That one's my fault. A distant Roman city is threatened. It is defenseless and you are the only city that can help dispatch relief force and quickly. Okay. How big? An average force, which means I'll send one, two, three, four, five, just in case. Okay. Dispatch. They're on the way? Okay. There they are. The Legion is marching to relieve a city of the Empire. Off they go. So all of these are Grand Insulators, and these are just not getting the entertainment. But I know that we don't need them to have coverage. We can just have overall city coverage, and it'll work. So we could work on that, but let's, let's work towards a Hippodrome first. Hippodrome will be going down right there. Okay, so these all now need a second type of wine. So the trade route that sells wine is a land trade route. But as long as this warehouse is full, we would never import any. So if I just set this to importing goods, these will immediately evolve. We'd look at that. Ah, desirability is an issue again. Oracle can go there. Good entertainment, but not enough variety. Colosseum. Amphitheater. Theater. Why isn't... Uh, I think we need to increase our... Our... Uh... Sajuk, you keep recommending selling wine. It's a sea trade route. I'm gonna have to bring this wine over to the dock, which is here. <laughs> you know how difficult it's gonna be to, to get that over? All right, so what's our employment like? We're short by five employees. Okay, so to make room for the Hippodrome, we can cut back on resource production. Maybe not that much. Timbiard. Instead, I should get rid of these academies. Because <laughs> we don't need those. Right? 4% unemployment? Okay. That should pretty much deal with it. How much is a Hippodrome? 2,500. It's February? Yeah. Let's go into debt for it. Bam. Did it. That's going to need 150 employees. And hopefully... There we go. These houses now evolving. Up they go. Large palaces. Need some desirability. We'll see what we can do here. Yeah, okay. So now it's a desirability issue. How much marble do we have? Uh, eight. But a working hippodrome.
The Hippodrome has commenced operations. Your fair city has joined the ranks of the best in all the Empire. Now, we need some desirability things. Oracle can go right there. That gets that up. Oracle can go right here. There we go, there we go, there we go. Six luxury palaces. Did it, did it. I draw a line says that animation makes me giddy in terms of how good or bad it is. <laughs> but there we go, our luxury palace block is down. Each of these can hold a bunch of hundreds of people. 200 people each, is it? Yes, 200 people each. So we can get another 300, 600. So this will bring us up to about 9,000 people. So, you know what we can do? Just to boost our population up a little bit more. Let's, uh, let's just shift. Do I need to... Do I actually need... I probably should just in case. Fine. Actually, I probably don't need it. Let's clear that off. And we're just gonna have a row of houses on the back of this. Right, and that should get us to our 10,000 population goal. Let's fill the back here with small statues. There we go. That actually looks really weird. I'm gonna go with gardens. <laughs> there, okay. Then we'll need to plaza this up. It's made, yeah, we can afford it now. And there we go. That's going to be a row of houses, which they do need water, by the way. Um, one, two, three, four. We're going to need a fountain right there. Reservoir. What's the range of a reservoir? One. Uh, it's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is ten, okay. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need a reservoir right here. Perfect. Just in range. What are the odds? <laughs> so that should... It doesn't reach. It's nine. It's nine. It's not... Wait, where is, where is the fountain? Is it behind there? Oh, it is 10. I haven't built the fountain. I forgot. <laughs> Thought I put it down already. There we go. Evolve all of that, please. There we go. Okay. So as people slowly move into these luxury palaces, um, we'll be uh, going up to about 9,000 people from here because it, they move in very slowly. They move in very slowly. But with these houses here, each one of these is going to hold somewhere like 60 to 80 people. They won't be able to evolve totally up because of um, uh, desirability. But let's see, what else do we need? Prosperity is going to go way up. So now we got to focus on culture. How is our employment? Okay. So now what we do is we cut back on resource production. So let's cut back on this. Cut back on this. Cut back on this. To make room for whatever culture requirement is needed. You know, let's focus on entertainment because if we boost up entertainment enough... Oh, these evolved. Uh, let me just check. Is it because... It is not. Look at that. That's the secret. That's the secret. These houses do not have Colosseum access, but because of our entertainment rating being so high, they evolved to Grand Insulase anyway. No one will ever tell you that. No one ever tells you that. Mm. Alright. <laughs> so, what does it say that we need? Academies, right? Yeah. Academies. Let's just replace these academies. There we go. What's our tax rate? 7%? Okay, uh, we can cut back on pottery production here for sure. Okay. Why are there vegetables in this? 
Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, okay. Um, are all those academies now functioning? Yes, 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 yes. That gets our academy access up to perfect. Need more theaters next. Uh, I could just... I made some space here. Let's go theater. 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 There we go. That will get that functioning. Okay. Too few schools. Alright, we can go schools. Uh, we can... Fit a school there. You know what, let's... Educate these farmers. All right. Is that employees needed? It is employees needed. Oh, we're actually... I think since money is now coming in, I'm gonna start... I'm gonna stop exporting oil because oil is actually a little bit low now that we're using it so much. So let's stop exporting oil. Um, shot by 52 employees, not to worry. We can cut back on wine production for sure. Because we just have way too much wine. There we go. That solves that problem. What's our culture rating now? Too few theaters again? All right, no problem. Do we have any more room here? I should put the theaters here because then at least if the theater walker is sent this way it provides some coverage okay no other gap there where else can we squeeze theaters you know what let's just do that and put an actor colony here there okay that should be problem solved. Too few libraries. Uh, looks like we could cut back a bit on food production. And up our library production. Uh, that's not wrong. Okay, library. Short by 78 employees. Some people are getting old. <laughs> are these houses evolving at all? Oh, the desirability is just not holding up. I guess I swap that to an oracle and that's the best we can do there. There. That evolves those houses a bit. Okay. And I guess... Uh... Where else should I squeeze houses? I mean, I don't really want to strain the existing systems too much, but, uh... Like, food here stabilized. So we can squeeze in a few extra houses, I guess. Just a few. Just a few. Not too many. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Distant battle, all right. Culture's at 70, prosperity's at 70, peace is at 66, favor will be fine. Uh, we could always just give one gift of anything. So now, all we have to do is get to 10,000 people, which might drop our culture rating a little bit, but it should be fine. What we can do, did people not move into these houses yet? They did. There's still room, but... Let's do some work on this little thing here. Market. Let's go two markets. Let's go... Fountain, fountain. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. Uh, we can plaza up all of this. 
fill this with houses. Increase the amount of marble we can import, okay. Just have a row there, we can have a school here, we can have a bathhouse here, we can have a library. And we can actually fit services there. Let's get these houses moved in, yeah? Uh, reservoir. Right there. Okay, so we're at 9,000 people. One of these houses did just evolve, that's not good. Let's clean that up. What did you lose? Pottery? That can't be right. What? You lost pottery? Looks like we can cut back on production here a little bit. So let's do that, let's do that. And I'm just gonna put another market back here. Why is that now devolving? No access to a hospital. So suddenly. But we <laughs> dealt with that. Oh, the marble cost went up by 50. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, let's clean this mess up. Lost hospital access. That's a little annoying. Help. Hospital. I guess we need to shift this around a little bit. Let's uh, move the hospital up. And have... Play it again. Amphitheater, theater. Like that. Let's replace this. Okay. So basically, we're very close to winning. We're very close to winning. We just need to do a few things. Um, yeah, you know, series goes there. We're gonna need a theater that goes there. We're gonna need an amphitheater that goes there. Okay, we could have just a couple gardens that do that. These markets have pottery. That probably needs desirability. Let's clean this up. Does the water supply reach? The water supply doesn't reach there, but it will reach here, allowing us to put and a barber and a doctor's like that okay so that we're at oh we're at since when did we have so much population nine four oh it, it's a new year there were births there were births uh the triumphal arch <laughs> i never know what to do with this ah oh, geez come on what happened to this what are you doing Does the water even reach that far? Yeah, it's the hospital coverage that is the problem. Uh, how do we fix that? What's wrong with this? Desirability, right, okay. I guess I need a hospital over on this left side, right? Yeah. Uh, health. Hospital. Uh, that's clinics. So what should I replace? I guess, honestly, it should be the amphitheater. So the hospital goes there. We'll swap these back for the desirability. Hospital goes there, amphitheater goes there, theater goes here. 
Uh, we can put maybe medium statues on the back of... I don't want to block that. What else can we do? We could clear that up. We could fit an Oracle there, which should just about be in range of things. Can that, does that, is that enough? There we go. That's actually doing something. Okay. We can have an Oracle. Oh, we're out of marble. Let's start importing marble again. How's our ratings? Oh, culture's actually higher. Actually, all of our ratings are now perfect. Fantastic. Well, not perfect, but there we go. Six luxury palaces again. I'm just worried about uh, amphitheater coverage. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. we got to fix that. I have to move one of these large temples. The Mars one has to go. Right? Another clay pit? Okay. We're gonna have to find another place for a large Mars temple. Can it really not fit here? Ah, oh, that sucks. You know what? Let's fill that with gardens because it looks empty. Okay. Let's fill that up. Let's fill that up. That's starting to look like a proper block now. Large Mars temple. <laughs> uh, nowhere for him to go. I guess he's going over here. There we go. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. This block here, no basic educational facilities. Really? Education. Schools. Are you serious? School. Try go there. Do the kids spawn properly now? Do they all still run the same way? Uh, that's so annoying. Education, school. Uh, swap for this side. School. Put the bathhouse over here. Education, school. There we go. Now it's working. And we can go double row gardens on the back of this. Squeeze another... No, we can't do anything there. Alright. That looks good. Your victorious soldiers march home proudly. All of your people bask in their glory and goodwill fills the city. All right, so it's almost January. I'm gonna slow it down. Now, these clay pits are just collapsing left, right, and center. So let's just replace them. Raw materials, clay pit. Right there and right there, okay. Now this triumphal arch has to go down somewhere before I know where it's gonna go. At the end of the path to the gods. Right there, fantastic. Good. That's where it's going to go. <laughs> yeah, now it looks proper. Now it looks proper. Oh, here's our troops. Ah. Alright, alright. Now, we're just going to do a quick one of those. And we just have to wait for people to move in. Yeah, there's, there's room for people to move in, and there will be births. So it's currently 9,800. Let's do a quick overview of our city. We've got our wine production there, oil production here. We're actually not selling oil right now, and look at how much m money we're making. How much money are we pulling in from taxes? 11,000. That's pretty good. All of these are mostly granted slaves. There's a few desirability issues. Maybe if I just garden it up a bit. No? Yes? No, it's fine. Most of these are grand insulates. This starting block here, it's it looks a bit messy, but it's actually functioning quite nicely. We squeeze in a few more houses here and there. We actually didn't provide some water to some of these houses, but that's okay. There we go. You can go ahead and evolve now. Um, this block here, going very well. 
this little extension block here. They don't have a library. I guess we don't need two markets. Library. <laughs> and look at that, we're almost at 10,000 people. It is January, we got the births in, a few more people moving in, and look at these six luxury palaces. Fantastic. This is so different from my last playthrough. But here we go. A librarian should go walking around here any second now. Education. Library. There he goes. Just evolve these, and that will guarantee 10,000 people. Ah, large insulators. Would you look at that? Hippodrome Colosseum. It worked out very nicely. It's just Mars. The large Mars temple is all the way over there <laughs> in the hills. Now they have to do kind of a pilgrimage to get up there. And also, our wheat is a little low, surprisingly. But we're at nine. Look at our population. Problem solved. Wait, it's gone down a bit. It's gone down a bit. Come on, come on. Someone move in. Someone move in. We got this. It's going down a little bit. So a few houses are devolving. I'm just speeding it up. Look at that. Luxury palace right there in the cinematic. And our culture probably dropped. By one. By one. Schools. We need schools somewhere. Bam. 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 Schools. Really? Uh... What? We put schools and theaters. Come on. Come on. Just a bit more. Now? That's the sound of victory. Don't tell anyone otherwise. That's the sound of victory. Educate the peasants, entertain the peasants, schools and theaters. There we go. There we go. We've done it. Valencia done incredibly differently from my first playthrough. The first playthrough I did in my original playthrough of Caesar 3, this is where I developed the flower design. Developed the flower design with the, the circular centralized distribution for 9x9 nine nine blocks, and this is completely different. This is grid design. This is how people would design the city if they played SimCity first. <laughs> <laughs> so I think a lot of people built cities like this. But anyway, let's go ahead and accept promotion. Hispania's new capital is exactly what we needed to bind that far-off province more closely to Rome. Crushing the remnants of the Etruscans so thoroughly removes the last threat in the West. Alright, so that is Valencia in Caesar 3. It went very, very well. But let's go ahead and see what's up next. And you can see here, next up is the ninth assignment, and we're dealing with Damascus, a somewhat dangerous province, and Caesarea, a somewhat peaceful province. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the buttons on the screen right now and they'll take you to those missions. And also be sure to go back and watch the military or peaceful counterparts of the other assignments. But anyway, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video.